guys, I'm Andy Schmidt, host of the Dr. Scott Jensen Podcast, here with Dr. Scott Jensen. Scott, a lot of people in my generation were wondering who's going to take charge, who's going to take the lead um, in terms of the environment, and it, sometimes it kind of feels like conservatives don't maybe care, but I know that you have something to say about that, so what do you have to say? It's a good question. I think that there has been, if you will, a certain gap in the conversation. I think this is what has to happen. We have to recognize that it's the people who live here. I don't care if you're in northern Minnesota, if you're in greater Minnesota, if you're in the plains of southern Minnesota. The people who live on the land are the ones who are committed to caring for it. You look at Lac Paro, this runs for miles and miles. You can hear the geese in the background. There is no one more committed to taking care of this land than the folks who live here. The notion that we need to have politicians telling people what to do in order for the right thing to be done. The notion that urban dwellers will intrude arrogantly into the lives of people out here and say, oh here, this is what you need to do. It's obnoxious. Fact of the matter is, as your governor, I would lead the hard conversations if they need to be led. But a lot of times, those conversations are being led by the people who are here. You want to talk about big issues out here? Let's talk about succession planning for farms. Let's talk about buffer zones where farmers have to buy the land, pay property tax on the land, and then be told that they have to take it out of production. And they don't have any say in how big that buffer zone is necessarily. And sometimes we're creating buffer zones on waterways that haven't had water for decades. Fact of the matter is, Andy, I'm going to be involved in the environment. I'm going to be involved in ecology. But I'm going to take my lead from the people who live here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the great people taking care of the great state of Minnesota. That's a great answer. Thanks, Scott. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.